Today, we're taking a look at the BMW Z4 M40i kit from Ming Models. 124 scale curbside kit. Just got released about a month ago, uh, mid-May. Took about 17 days to get here for, so yeah, about a month ago. And it is Ming Models' latest 124 scale automotive kit. And it is today's What's in the Box. And getting started with the body, you can see it's a multi-piece body and molded in a light shade of gray. And getting started now with the chassis plate. You can see it's attached to the body, how it came packaged. I hadn't separated them. So it'll be interesting to see how close it matches up to the uh, GR Supra. Even though there's some differences. Starting now with parts tree A, which has some interior pieces, the roof, some body pieces. Going to start up here in the top left corner with the hard top roof option as well as the window frame and cowl. Moving over to the next corner, we have the dash and another interior piece. Not 100% sure what it's for yet. Lower left corner, we have the rear part of the interior, the bulkhead, rear bulkhead, I guess you can call it the rear wall. We're going to call it another piece right there. I have no idea what that's for just yet. I did briefly look at the instructions, but I don't recall what everything is for just yet. And now moving on to the lower right corner, which will have the interior tub and the top down option. Parts tree B is up next. You saw that coming, didn't you? Has a little bit of everything on it, some suspension pieces, interior pieces. So up here in this corner, we have uh, part of the suspension pieces there, some lower, I'm not even sure what they are. I know it is part of the suspension, I believe. Tie rod, and you have another part of the uh, chassis. So down here in this corner, we have subframe. Uh, you can see there is some transmission detail. You have left to right halves, the headlight buckets, Clear piece is going to go there. We have the interior door panels and the seat backs. Then we have the rear uh, vent pieces. I'm, sure, I'm not 100 sure if these vents are going to be real or fake on the real car, but then you have the front grills, the exhaust pipe. Moving on to parts a tree a C, which has the rest of the, the parts. He has suspension pieces, uh, some interior pieces, the wheels. I start up in this corner here. Here we have the, I believe these are going to be the headrest, two pieces. And 
exterior door handles, top part of the transaxle, or part of the transaxle. So here we have the brakes. Oh, the steering wheel there on the left. Brakes are going to be two piece each. Each rotor is going to be uh, two pieces. More suspension pieces. Mirrors, front spindles, struts. Now take a look at the wheels, which are going to be not chrome, which are chromed on the real car. You have to do your own chroming. And here we have the rear spindles, the steering column, the wipers. Here we have springs, springs and shocks, the transaxle with the shafts. And for some reason, they were not included on their on the parts tree. The seats they were packaged in with the body and the wheat and the tires. Now we're gonna take a look at parts tree D, which is gonna be the clear parts tree. So you have the front rear windows, side windows, headlight lenses, taillight lenses, marker lights for the mirrors. And now we're going to take a look, look at the last bit of stuff to look at, the detail items, I guess we'll call them. First, the window mask sheet, which has for the window, the windshield, and parts B and C. Seat belt material to make the shoulder belts. Photo wedge for the buckles. The mirror faces. For the rearview mirrors, obviously. Decal sheet B, which has the instrument gauge, the infotainment screen, and the BMW Z4 plates. And decal sheet A, which has all the BMW emblems and badging and scripting. Obviously, four of them are going to be for the wheels. Now we're going to take a look at the blank side wall roundy rounds. There'll be some soft rubber. Hopefully they won't have the same issues that we did on the F-350 where the tires will stay on the wheels. So that, my friends, is going to do it for this look at the BMW Z4 M40i kit from Ming Models. Or else I'm going to call it the convertible Supra. And yes, if you want to get yourself some BMW color match paint, James and Scale Finishes, should be able to get you, get you some mixed up. A lot of steps for this kit. For what is a curbside kit? A lot of good detail though. So, on that note, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah.